I need a motion to authorize the solicitor to create, a, create an ordinance that would prohibit parking on McMillan Street for the purposes of creating an emergency fire lane in a 50 foot area across from 616 McMillan Street by the Goodwill Villa as requested by the fire chief. There is a map in your packet that shows where this um, area is and uh, the chief is on if anybody has any questions uh, they've had some trouble getting a truck pulled in there with cars parked there so we have any questions on this i do have a couple of questions bill living around the corner from there um and chief king um there's already an issue with parking on mcmillan um and issues with the stop signs and um uh, i should say a lot of cars that end up in the uh in the intersections uh, when they do park, plus there's a fire hydrant. I understand the purpose of the fire truck and the need for that space, but um, it is going to create some more problems uh, uh, other than what we already have with parking on McMillan. Dewey. Yeah, McMillan as well as, uh, yeah, uh, the, the street next to John. So would there be any consideration to um, maybe you know, looking at that area, designating more spaces or, you know, the setbacks from the stop signs and the fire hydrant or maybe some yellow curbs or something to help people do maybe a better job. But there, it will limit um, some of the cars, particularly from the Goodwill Villa, because uh, it appears that several people, a lot of people there have vehicles. Yeah, if we could take that up under public okay. safety, BJ, okay. I, I think that would be wise thing to do because I know there's several people that park their cars right in that area and there's no place else on their grounds to park so um, yeah you have to look Dewey Avenue as well because McMillan and Dewey Avenue that is absolutely crowded it's really crowded um, uh, just looking to see if we've looked at other options just to um, to help you know mitigate some of the uh, problems that we'll have with a lack of spacing. Hey, uh, Chief uh, Costain, could you expand more on why this request came in? Yeah, so, um, and Joe Cower can, can attribute to this. He was on the call. We've had two calls there, one of which most recent was a structure fire. Um, with the vehicles being parked right there, we cannot make the swing into the, to the building there um, quickly and without going up over the curbs and running the risk of, of hitting a car parked there. Um, Joe and I went over and looked at the area, the one house that it affects there, those folks do have a um, driveway on the side, right, accessible in that alleyway there. So I do believe that we're only going to lose one parking spot. Well, the, the house on the corner of Dewey and McMillan, the old Fullerton house, has no parking. Um, they either park on Dewey, but the, a lot of times they park on the side. And it's not so much the residents parking, it's, it's well, actually, it's the residents from the buildings. From Goodwill. Okay. I, and I'm all for, I understand the need for that. Um, I'm just trying to think, you know, what we can do um, to help with that. Sure. Yeah, I, I think in terms of the ordinance itself, you know, the, the safety of those people that are living in both of those buildings is paramount. And I think we need to prepare um, to enable the fire department to get in there should they need it. Um, so I think in terms of addressing the actual um, motion that's on the table, uh, I'll entertain a motion to um, to approve the, uh, the ordinance for uh, no parking in that particular area. Just a question. I mean, it, it, was this brought up to public safety already? No. No. I, I, I apologize. It, I didn't. I didn't know that was the right avenue. Well, and I don't know either. No, I, is it? Know. Does it make sense to 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 table it and let public safety maybe uh, take BJ's comments in, into consideration and then? then um, if there isn't an alternative, then then public safety says we have to put it there, then then go from there. Well, is it I, worth doing that? I, I can appreciate that, that thought, but what happens between now and the next meeting if we need it? Um, Valid. Well, I don't know. You can put a, uh, I, I don't know. You can put it temporarily not parking. So further notice, 
uh, at that spot. I mean, they, they were eliminating, they were by some time for the investigation from uh, 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 public safety. That's about the only thing you could do, really. Otherwise, it's going to be. And a conversation with the folks in the villas and the Goodwill, um, that's generally who uses that area. Like I said, I agree with the safety issue, Bill. I understand what you're saying. Those buildings have been there a long time and this parking issue has just come up now after how many years? So I think that's a great, that's a great there idea. There many fires, I, I didn't hear Joe Klossman's comment. I just said that uh, there haven't been all that many fires down there either until recently, so. I agree with Joe. We we did just have a fire and a lady burned on the fifth floor. That was the most recent call that we've had there. So BJ, from because you know the area better, so those three parking spaces that the chief is asking for, would those three cars then just have to pa park a block away? Is that where would the alternative play? It'd just be farther place or uh, parking, so they'd have to walk further. It would be, and and I like like you said. I think Nina's idea of doing a temporary block it now in case there is a fire, but you know, go through public safety and at least notify the residents in the buildings and in the area that you know they're going to have to find alternative um, places to park. I think that's a you know, what, it's just my opinion. Joe, do we Joe Cower? Would we need uh, to pass an ordinance to do a temporary no parking there? while uh, public safety addresses it? I wouldn't think so. I, I would, you could just put a sign up and Why it's order? not gonna be really enforceable without an ordinance. Yeah. I mean, it, uh, this is for the safety of those actually that are parking there. I mean, let's remember that. So um, why don't we do that? Why don't we um, place some no uh, temporary no parking signs there, put this into public safety and um, Public safety can come back with some recommendations uh, next hey, month. Mike, whether I have a question, Bill. I'm trying to picture that. I know the area in my head, but do we have any telephone poles there or anything to attach signs to, or is that one of the sections That's... without anything between the curves? You know what I mean? The, the, yeah, utility, the utility pole is on the side of Goodwill Villas. That's our other hindrance. So uh, nothing on the side where we're, we're attempting to put a fire lane. It's just lawn. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there's a yellow or white paint marking the limits right now in the grass. Well, the, we're, we're just asking to advertise the ordinance, correct? We're not creating the ordinance and, and we have to have a public hearing next month, correct? Yeah, the, the motion was to authorize a solicitor to uh, draw up an ordinance. Yeah, to create an ordinance. Oh, I'm sorry. I I thought this was to approve it. My apologies. Yeah. And we can put the temporary up in, in the next month or so and see how much pushback. Everybody will come and tell us what they feel about it. But, but uh, if, if, if it's an emergency, you, yeah. you, you, should put, you should put that sign up tomorrow. Per se. Yeah, I agree because well, another month. Yeah, it, I agree it, because it, it, that it, truck it. will never get in there. Exactly. Put up a sign if we all agree to put a temporary sign uh, with the legal permission, which I believe they will be fine. Let's go ahead and do it ASAP. And move forward. Do you want to move forward with uh, um, authorizing the solicitor? Oh, that's fine. If even for the temporarily signed or, or for the permanent, one way or the other. As I recall that Joe Carter say it should be uh, an ordinance, even if it's temporarily. Am I right, Joe? No, I, I wouldn't do oh, that. I, okay, I think then. all we're asking tonight is I'll authorize the solicitor to create it. That takes a month. And then if we come back next month, it'd be advertising. That takes another month. Yep. So, so we're two, three months out. So uh, it, it takes time. time. Let's go ahead and authorize the, uh, uh, the the lawyer right now. And then it, we could put up a temporary sign this week through the Public Works Department. Okay, and good. that could at least get people's uh, awareness to it. I'll I can, second. I can move that. Yes, I'll move that. Yeah. I'll second. I'll second. All in favor? 
Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. The motion passes.